Jesus teaches us that being leads to doing. Who you are leads to what you do, not the other way around. God defines who you are, a disciple of Jesus, a follower of Jesus. Right? Disciples do three things. They come to Jesus in faith, they listen to Jesus in the Word, and they do what Jesus says. They obey Jesus. Discipleship is not more complicated than this, and it's also not less complicated than this. Right? You can't short-circuit the discipleship process. You can't say, well, I'm just going to skip over the coming to Jesus and listening to Jesus, and I'm just going to obey what He says. Right? Or you're going to say, well, you know, I'm just going to come to Jesus, right? I'm just going to say the prayer, and Jesus, I want you to be Lord and Savior of my life, and then I'm just going to go do what I want, right? No, discipleship is a model that flows in this order. We come to Him in faith, we listen to what He says, and then we do what He says, all because the grace of Jesus Christ has transformed who we are and led us to a love of God and deep into the love of God for us. Discipleship now enables discipleship when it counts. The development of Christian character, virtue, whatever you want to call it, now, in this time, before the crisis of life falls on you, right? if it's the death of a loved one, or it's a health crisis in your own life, or financial ruin, Right? If it's a marriage that's, that's falling apart, or let's say you're about to graduate from high school and you're going, ah! Whatever it is, discipleship now means that when it counts, when you need Jesus, when you need Jesus, you're already walking with Him. And the more you walk with Him, the more you learn to trust Him. The more you come to him, the more you listen to him, the more you realize that Jesus is leading you to live well in this world.